Hello everyone, this is Captain Cini on board the uh, Lure of the Seas on our day 10 of our transatlantic crossing and uh, today is the day we start to lose a bit of count on the days to be honest but uh, we're making very very good progress and uh, we have left uh, pretty much all the storms behind ahead of us uh, Hurricane Thomas is tracking very good and is uh, showing that it's going to pass uh, south of us, we're clear uh, so the weather today is excellent as you probably can see we have very light winds from the back of the ship so it's going with us it's almost no wind on the decks 23 degrees and we start to feel that caribbean uh, weather and to be honest as we walk around the ship and we we discover and we see all the details of the ship is is, is incredibly amazing and uh, sometimes you feel that like you are in a different planet when you look at the ship and and, and actually talking about that uh, and the planet you know one of our shows uh, blue planet something also this is completely out of this world and our team has been working very hard preparing all the sceneries and all the different settings that we need for that fantastic show that we have on board and i'd like to to take a look at what they are doing here on board the ship We're trying to do things that shouldn't really even be possible to do on a cruise ship. That's what we do for a living, is find ways of making things that are impossible, making them possible. Upstage is free. Everything has to fold up and come apart and then go back together in a very uh, short amount of time during the show. And that all has to break down and store in this little tiny space. Luckily, when I was little, I was good at origami. <laughs> The mountain set, which is behind me, breaks down into six pieces. There are two trampolines in this big piece behind me, and one trampoline in this piece that gets folded up. What's back there is one part of the Chicago set, and here we have the tree in a storage position. Then what brings this all out to the audience is we have motorized tracks embedded in the floor, and they push everything down right to the front of the stage. Blue Planet is the most complicated technical show I think we've ever done. We start off with drawings, but um, all our stuff, particularly on, on this show, is very three-dimensional. So um, um, very soon after the um, initial uh, sketches, we start building models and like heads. So if something doesn't fit, we need to know it early on before we start designing it. And when we see it full scale on stage, it's extremely fulfilling. The real payoff for us is to see what the performers do on it. 